Good afternoon viewers at home. This is Mathematics Dr. Ho Jay. In this video, we are studying how angles are measured. Measurement of angles. Subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video and the notification bell so that each time I upload new video, you will be notified. Thank you. Now, what is an angle? An angle is formed when there are two lines coming together at a point. That's when the, an angle is formed as a result of a meeting of two or more lines. So when two or more lines meet or intersect, an angle is, uh, is formed. Okay? Now, if an angle is to be measured in the anticlockwise sense, it's, uh, that such angle is given a positive uh, uh, sign. But if an angle is measured you know, in a clockwise sense, then it is given a negative uh, value. Then just for example, let's look at this. So if we have this to be P, we have this to be O, and this is an the hex. So measuring this angle anti-clockwisely will give us what? It give us, let's say, let's say for example, it's 109 degree. So it's going to be what? A positive uh, angle. But if an angle is measured this way, then for example, this is X, this is O, and this is P. So if it is measured uh, in the clockwise sense, let's say for example, it's for 3 degree. So this will be what? This will be minus for 3 degree. Because it is measured, that is our x o p, x o p with what minus for three degree. While here x o p angle x o p with what one o nine degree. It's okay. Now, generally, angles are measured in degree or radians. Generally, generally, angles are measured. In what? In degrees or radians. Okay. One complete revolution. One revolution of an angle. One complete revolution. One complete revolution is what? Is 360 degree. Okay. So suppose we have a circle such that we have, uh, let's say we have uh, this is the center of the circle. We call this one the what the red eye, the red eye, and we have this to be length of the hack, length of the hack. Okay, now let's call this hex, and this is the angle. This is the angle. This is the hack. Let's call the hack A B. All right. So if we want to find the value of our angle here, the value of our angle theta will be the length of the revolution, length of an hack, which is what S all over what all over hack. So which what? Um, theta will be what? 2 pi r all over r. That is in radians now. We want to get it in radians. Okay, that will be theta now. Theta, theta will be what? Theta will now be equal to, you know, 2 pi in radian. So for us to find that value in radians, um, we are going to have our 2 pi radians. So now, which implies that 2 pi radians, 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degree for one complete revolution. Okay, so in this case, pi radians, pi radians will be what? 360 all over what? All over 2. So that implies pi radians what? 180 degree. Now, one radian now, one radian will be equal to what? 180 degree all over pi. So one radian could be what? Could be with, or if I say 180 all over pi all degree. Now that is for uh, finding an angle that is already radian in degree. Now suppose an angle is in degree and want to find its uh the, want to find the equivalent the value of that angle in uh, radian. Okay, since since now pi radians or if I say since 180 degree. Is equals to pi radians, okay? You can say since one degree is equal to pi radians, therefore one degree will be what pi all over one eighty all in uh, radians. It's a simple conversion, so we can convert an angle from degree to radians, and we can similarly convert an angle from radian to degree. Let's look at an example to buttress uh, these statements. Now, example one, example. One. The first example says, express, express 
the following express the following express the following angles in in radians express the following angles in radians one the first question there 37 degree and two is a uh, minus 143 uh, degree 10 uh, minutes okay now how do we express the following angles in radians now note that the angle is already in uh, degree so now we want to convert it to what to radians so now how do we go about this now to go about this we use our conversion okay now what are we going to use we use uh since one degree is equal to so we say since one degree is equal to pi all over 180 all in radians remember we want to find it in radians so therefore 37 degree now will be pi all over 180 times 37 times 37 okay now don't forget in this case your pi is the 3.142 so 3.142 times 37 all over 180 you are going to have uh, 0. 6458 radian. Okay, that is not about that. Now, the second one, the second question. Let's solve the second question here for visibility. Second question, let's solve it here. Now, before you can solve the second question, you have to be very careful because we need to convert from degree uh, in your know, minutes. Okay, now, how do we convert? Um, uh, 10 minutes to degree okay you know that uh, since since 60 you know degree is equal to one minute now yes oh, sorry 60 minutes is equal to one degree sorry that's a slip of tongue now let's now say that and we're going to get it in degree so 10 minutes now will be equal to x degree yes because uh, 60 minutes is equal to one degree for a degree you must reach 60 minutes so if you cross multiply here you're going to have x will be what 10 all over 60 all in degree okay yes that's what you have so that will be what one all over six in degree which we are 0 0.1 i think uh, we do have 0 0.1666 degree okay now and uh, remember that we are converting minus one for three degree 10 minutes all to degree now it is minus that we are converting so we are converting minus one for three degree 10 minutes now by calculation we have converted 10 minutes to degree so that is good we have minus one for three you know you are happy because this one minus one for three degree 10 minutes is now minus one for three you know plus you know plus what zero point uh, which is what one all over six uh, degree you understand don't be confused I've added, you know, I'm now writing it in form of a mixed fraction. Okay? So why I'm having 1 over 3 as the whole number, and not of 3 as the whole number. My 1 over 6 degree is written together with it. Okay? Which, if I convert it or simply add it, I have 1 minus 1 over 3 point, you know, uh, 166 uh, degree. Okay? I think that you could have. Yes. So, but because 0 0.166 plus minus 1 over 3, that what? Minus 1 over 3. Uh, points 166 degree. Now, what are we doing? We are to convert it to uh, radians, and uh, we now use our conversion. Since since one degree is equal to pi all over 180 radians. Okay. Therefore, 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 and that's a minus one for three. 0.166 degree will now be equal to what? Um, pi all over 180 times minus 143.166. Uh, uh, everything must be what? Must be radian. Okay. So by the time we multiply out, this is 3.14 our normal pi multiplied by minus 143.166 all over 180. We are going to have, um, you know, minus 2. 0.499 radians. So it's not left on our discretion. We want to approximate either to one decimal place or so, which is approximately minus 2.5 to what? To less than one decimal place radians. Radians to one decimal place. Okay. 
That is the, the, the first uh, example. Now let's look at the second example. Let's look at the second uh, example. Let's look at the second example. The second example says, express example two. Example two, express the following. Express the following. Express the following angles in degrees in degrees and minutes we have to express them in degrees and minutes and uh, correct to the nearest correct to the nearest uh, minutes so we have to do two things two or more things there yes okay two things in each case the first question 2.1 radian and the second one is uh, pi all over 12 uh, radians. Okay, now how do we go about this? Okay, let's um, let's uh, solve this. Let's solve this. Now we recall that for us to convert from radians to degree, so that will be what one degree will be what equals to 180. All over pi, you know, you know. I, I hope you understand. I just we want to get we want to get it in degree now. One degree will be what? 180 all over pi uh radians. Okay, the other one we converted from radians uh to, you know from degree to radians now. So sorry, uh yeah, I think one radian, sorry, this will be one radians, one radians will be. One radians now, one radian will now be equal to 180 all over pi, everything in what? Degree. Okay? Now, that is it. So one radian equals to 180 all over pi degree. Now that we have it in the 2.1 radians, so 2.1 radians, 2.1 radians what? 180 all over pi times 2.1. So, uh, what are we going to have here? Mind you, you, the value must be in degree. So by that we multiply 2.1 by 180 all over 3.142, we're going to have, uh, have 120.316 uh, degree. That's what we're going to have. You can use your calculator to check that. So 180 all over 3.142 multiplied by uh, 2.1. That will give you that. Now, but the question says we have gotten it in degree. We have to get it in minutes and correct to the nearest uh, mean. So this must be in minutes. Yes, the question must be in minutes. We have gotten it in degree. And the minutes must be converted to uh, the nearest minute. Okay, so what do we do? Now, you just don't need to bother yourself much. Remember, the other time we said one uh, minute is equal to, 60 minutes is equal to one degree. Since 60 minutes is equal to one degree okay and this one is now what is now in degree already okay so that means and mind you this is like 120 plus this one is like 120 plus 0 0.316 that's what it means there uh, yes okay so that means and degree that is what so the answer x minutes will be equal to 0 0.316 it's a very simple calculation degree Okay, don't get it wrong. You know, we are trying to convert 120.316 degree to minutes now. Okay, and we know that 60 minutes is equal to 1 degree. So how many minutes are we going to get from uh, 0 0.316 degree? So in this case, because multiply, your x will be what? 60 times 0 0.316. So if you multiply 60 by uh, 0 0.316, x will be what? It will be... Um, 18.96 um, mind you in what minutes now so now for the nearest minute according to the question so if we convert to the nearest minute we can have what uh, 19 minutes to the nearest nearest minutes okay yes so therefore therefore 120.316 degree to be what 120 degree 19 minutes so don't get it wrong just take it easy it's very simple Okay, now this the last question, which is on that example two. Uh, pi all over 12. Pi all over 12. 
pi all over 12. So the next question, the last question, pi all over 12. So pi, and we know that. What have we just done? Said that the other one we just converted from uh, radians to sins. One radian is equal to 180 all over pi in degree. Okay? Now, um, pi all over what? Pi all over 12. Pi all over 12 radian now will be 1 all over 80 all over pi multiplied by pi all over 12. Yes, if 1 radian is equal to 180 all over pi degree. So pi over 12 radian, 1 is this. Pi over 12, just multiply it by pi over 12. This cancels this. And so 180 all over 12, we have 15 degree. If you check that, you will get that. So since we don't have uh, decimal values here, um, it's conventional to limit like this. There can be minutes because it doesn't have a, a decimal value. So on this note, you have come to the end of the examples. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video. Thanks and God bless you.